Fucking hell. <laughs> No, my man's foot. He broke his foot. Damn, I said, hey. Oh, someone tried to rob your girlfriend. I can't believe it. It has been two and a half months since I've traveled, and then for two and a half months since I've um, done any vlogging. So, Oh, I didn't even show you my very first journey to the airport since moving to Southeast. I need to, uh, uh, I need to uh, acclimatize to doing this again. Oh my god, I got here at 9.45, my flight is at 11.30, it is 10.40? And this is how long it took for me to actually get my boarding pass because everything was just going wrong. Anyways, I'm gonna go through security now and see if I can get one snack. Goodbye. I'm in the middle seat. Middle seat, me. me. Mini room tour. Very beige hotel room. That's okay. It's nice. It'll do. Shower. Toilet. Oh, I just pissed in. What's this? Oh, they keep. We keep seeing this, right? These like really naf nifty, nafty, nifty, nafty, whatever. And here you go. That's the room. You're welcome. Uh, I'm gonna charge my phone for five minutes and then I'm taking skinny to kale. You'll see what that is. Mini fit check. I felt like I've really not been good in any of the vlogs with proper fit checks. So I kind of look a mess, but it's okay. Um, white Nike Air Shocks, my Juicy Couture tracksuit, and then a stolen Kenny's BBC. Bomber jacket and no coat actually. Got a knuckle skinny store and I'm taking them to Flux and Kale, which is such a like white girl brunch place in Barcelona. It's so like anti cultural, but I want to eat as much gluten free as I can right now. Not that I won't eat gluten free for dinner, but it'll be more like you know, meat and whatever. Whereas now I just want fluffy pancakes. So yeah, let's go. <laughs> and kale i even walked in and i was like why is there no one here i was like, oh it's because it's too early for barcelona no they have fucking clothes but i want to show you what it is so if you come to barcelona i'll show you properly tomorrow because i will definitely come here for food there's they've got about four of them in the city and it's just you know it's the bougie yummy mummy very instagrammable vegan options gluten-free options la 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 nice place and now i've got to rely on skinny to find his food of all people Carnival. So all the little kids here are dressed up in fancy dress and everything's kind of closed Because I thought we couldn't find a food for because it was that awkward time between lunch and dinner But no shops are even closed. Everything's closed. All we've had now is a coffee and a biscuit
Mom go shopping, she buy refrigerate, say you can't flip flop it Why you really know about the blue bag, no buy what she sell it Blue bag, no buy what she sell it Blue bag, no buy what she sell it She talk well sweet Coca Cola bottle, skin chocolate date And she no one listen if you talk is cheap It's best that you leave her alone, no old guy Shine down in the pretty little thing No one's in a paper, never with the ring Shine down in the pretty little thing She live in the material world Shine down in the pretty little thing No one's in a paper, never with the ring Shine down in the pretty little thing She live in the material world Shine down in the pretty little thing No one's in a paper, never with the ring Shine down in the pretty little thing She live in the material world They rate the tap in the bathroom as a dishwasher, as a washing <laughs> he did end up paying as I said he would. <laughs> what do you have to say for yourself? Why spend mine when I can spend yours? I was saying to him on the way here, I live by Lil Kim's motto. Why spend mine when I can spend you know? Who's she? There you go. She's gonna, she's gonna cut it. She's gonna edit it out. Oh, also, not impressed. No one's impressed there. What do you mean? She's at work. Supervise. Can you see? Hello, boy. Get them trips in. Why are you trying to? Why are you trying to? Why are you trying to? I'm trying to. Trying to, trying to, trying to, trying to, trying to she's quitting her job right now. <laughs> <laughs> she's about to join Jotty's team. She's about to be Jotty's personal travel agent. Oh my and, god. And if you need any other travel, holla at Steph. Holla at Cape your boy. Cape Town's finest. Guys, Steph is looking for a new career, so. Oh my god, please. If no. anyone's got a cool job. Listen, if you get her fired from that job, it's your fault. You better hire her. Yeah. You are the one who needs someone on your team. I just don't want to be a, your PA. <laughs> <laughs> Steph got her hands keys in the office next door, so now we're gonna break in. Hit the TikTok when I dance On that demon time, she might start her only fans Big B and that B stand for bands If you wanna see some real ass, baby, here's your chance I say left cheek, right cheek, drop it on this wine Left cheek, right cheek, drop it on this wine Left cheek, right cheek, drop it on this wine Left cheek, right cheek, drop it on this wine Left cheek, right cheek, drop it on this wine Left cheek, right cheek, drop it on this wine Guys, we sold out <laughs> Oh my god, Steph is looking for a new career So, yeah, I'm gonna be your PA if I don't say it now, we sold out. Maybe there's also other rooms that doesn't matter. You're such we sold out. <laughs> Razzle Taz. 1,400 people in our room. Come on. I would do this, so I have nothing at the front. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Wow. Is that, is that what we're doing right now? Okay. Yeah. I like that. that Celebration dance. Did you not do that move as a kid? I mean, no. I just watched other people do it, though. But, uh, I'm not. Day. I'm not against it. I'm just. It's cool. Are you gonna vlog? Are you gonna do the SMB tonight for the vlog? Why not? Sideways ones. Sideways. This one. No, sideways as you did. Okay. This is what I need for the vlog. Like this, guys. So how's your day been now today? Officially, also my videographer. Okay. No. He was in desperate need for a job, but I gave him one. <laughs> um, what can I say? I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna keep quiet. I'm gonna let you enjoy right your now. fun right now. He pays for my dinners, plays for me whenever I need him to. Shows up and I call him. Next thing you know, I'm getting flown out. Ladies, be very jealous. <laughs> and cut. Keep it rolling. Right cheek, left cheek, right cheek, drop it on this wine. Left cheek, right cheek, drop it on this wine. Left cheek, right cheek, drop it on this wine. Left cheek, right cheek, left cheek, right cheek, left cheek, right cheek, drop it on this wine. Left cheek, right cheek, drop it on this wine. Left cheek, right cheek, drop it on this wine. If you haven't guessed, I'm in Barcelona and it's my 10th visit. I'm currently waiting for a technician to come to my room because my room temperature is on 28 degrees and it's stuck at that temperature and it's gross. It's about 9.30 right now. Skinny and I've just come back, as you can see. 10th visit to Barcelona, I had to do something special. I'm throwing a homegrown at Razmataz and we sold out. We sold out. I had to do it in a city that I consider home. So obviously homegrowns are happening in London, in Amsterdam and also in Barcelona because it's not just for tourism reasons that I'm here for the 10th time. Like, 
Razzmatazz and the city of Barcelona have been booking me. So I had to do something special. So to make it extra home, I brought Skinny to represent the UK and Jael to represent the Netherlands. Skinny and I, however, have been on the town all day on like no sleep. And Jael got here and he's been sleeping because he had a mad one in Lisbon yesterday. And I wanted to take a nap. However, we have dinner plans by 11. And if I want to still download music and get showered and get ready, there's no point in sleeping. But we sold out Razzmatazz and if you don't Oh, no, Razzmatazz, it's their equivalent of fabric. It's like their cultural institution for electronic music. And we fucking sold out. And Leon Vinyl is playing a smaller room to us. The room we're playing in is 1,400 people. It's the main room. Do you know how crazy that is? It's fucking crazy. I can't believe it. I actually can't believe it. I don't know what else to tell you. Welcome. I haven't been vlogging or traveling for two and a half months. And this is the official kickoff of me going back on the road. It's not a tour. I feel like people need to stop using the word tour so loosely. Yes, I am traveling all around Europe every week for the next three months but it isn't a tour a tour is like way more thought out and conceptual and you know it's not that I'm just doing loose gigs I'm so happy I need to get ready it's so hot I'm sweating I'm gonna take you with me tonight I'm getting absolutely smashed because I'm staying two nights I asked if I could stay an extra night just so I, ha I have downtime and time to recover and I'm so happy I get to do that also Kenny and I aren't completely moved into the new flat yet. The whole flat is covered in boxes and I just wanted to get out because I feel so restless in the new flat. So yeah, let me get my laptop out. I'm going to play shit little reggaeton tonight. I'm going to do a power hour, three to four, baby. But the thing is, we're basically going to be out the whole night because we need to be out early enough to catch dinner. But also, the club opens at one. Love Europe. Remember the Berlin vlog? It's right here. The Berlin vlog. I love European clubs. They just open late, as they should. Uh, but Jael's on at two, so obviously, I'm on at three, and I definitely don't want to miss his set. Um, and I booked Drea as the support act, and I want to catch her a little bit as well, so... Auntie's going to have to push through tonight, but she can sleep tomorrow. Can't wait. <laughs> It's 10 to 11 and I've decided I'm actually going to take a nap. Skinny said, bro, I've just come off the toilet. I'm not making it to dinner. I messaged him saying, I haven't even showered yet. Joel's sleeping as we speak because he got too lit in Lisbon yesterday. But I'm like, I'm a little bit chilled because I still have tomorrow here. So I was like, oh, I could go for a nice dinner tomorrow. Skinny just doesn't like Barcelona as it is. So I don't think he's too fast. He's in the room next to me. So he could probably hear me. <laughs> and oh my God. I was like, fine. We'll, we'll go for dinner. I'll just order in room service called room service at 10 35 it says that room service is until 11 called them. so first of all my room's at 29 degrees they brought a fan now fine then call room service and they're like no sorry sorry we're closed so i said how is that possible it says 11 yeah that's wrong that's wrong because at 10 30 so i said oh so like five minutes ago yep but you can you can call reception they can help you out they could just order some food in for you i thought what called reception and they're like oh let, let us put you through to room service i said no room service already told me to piss off and then he goes well you can just order uber eats or deliveroo into your room and i thought fucking hell if it wasn't for tomorrow this was going to be another vlog where you basically see me do nothing but it's, it's not going to be one of them so i'm just going to take a nap until my um fur gets here do you know what i mean might as well good night oh my god imagine this yeah so i get a phone call from reception saying yeah your food's here come down to get it i come down but as i'm in the lift another girl gets on on another floor and there's like multiple delivery drivers in the foyer with food and i walk to a driver who's on the phone and i said uber eats and he's like no and then i was like oh okay and there was another driver but he had just given the food to the other girl on the lift she was already back at the lift and i looked at them and i was like food for jothi and he goes oh 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 the other girl he gave he gave my food to the other girl he calls over the other girl and she's like oh oh Oh, sorry she gets her right meal it was mcdonald's obviously given to her in a all over mcdonald's logo bag why would you then accept a bag that says bun bow fucking ho fuming imagine if she'd already gone up no sorry this is not okay anyways i'm gonna sleep for another 30 minutes another i didn't even sleep i was just awake on my phone for 30 minutes anyways gonna sleep wake up eat shower do it all at the same time fuck it fuck it it's a mess it's a mess right it's midnight i never even went to sleep fuck it it's just not the one it's not the one i don't like this hotel 
I've never said this in my life, but I fucking hate this hotel. The bed isn't comfy. It's obviously like really hot. I just want to say that. I just don't want to pretend that this trip or this day is like fabulous and cute. And no, because you could have already seen that. But, uh, but I can also confirm. You know how I booked two nights? Or I asked them to book me in for two nights. It's, they've so kindly done. And really, they've done that because the bookers at Rasmus has are great people and caring and loving. But this hotel just makes me want to go home tomorrow. It's so bad. It's so bad. But yeah, I'm just going to jump in the shower, wash my butthole, and just get going. Guys, I don't know what I was thinking packing without trying anything on. So I got this corset rib corduroy top, which I like. And then I packed these jeans, like these mom jeans, which they don't go fit wise. Like the fit is a bit odd. And then I've got my like America cups underneath. It's just not a fit. <sighs> Look at my belly. Jesus Christ. It's just not a fit. It's still 28 degrees in my room, in case you're wondering. Oh, 28 and a half. But I don't have other top options or pant options. I brought dungarees just for daytime tomorrow But I didn't bring like a top that would go with the dungarees for the club Does that make sense? Let me try it on with this top It's gonna look weird but fuck it This would be the other fit Which is funny because what is this? What's the meaning of this? This is cute, I don't mind that part But this is like, where Jyoti, what were you thinking? I think I might just go like this, you know I really couldn't care any less at this point I think this is just it, fuck it I've got no other top option I'm gonna knock on Skinny's door to borrow deodorant <laughs> <laughs> my face mask. Can I have your drink, please. It's 20 to 2. This is the makeup look I've kept it simple. Jacket, bag, dungarees, that weird corduroy top. Room is still 30 degrees. Jal starts at 2 and I have a feeling it's actually... Some stuff is going wrong so he's me messaging me. Rightfully so. And so my head's all over the place right now. So I'm gonna rush, we're gonna go there, we're gonna have a good time, everything's gonna be fine. This is the fit, let's go. As per usual, I don't know why this always happens right before a DJ set, my blood sugar drops. So, when I get there, I need to be on the juice. Ooh.
we were just talking about it about five years ago, mm -hmm. four or five years ago, I emailed you saying, oh, yes. hi, my name is Jotty. I'm a little baby DJ. I but think... I really want to play. Yeah. Maybe you have a slot over there. Yeah. <laughs> and I look at your profile and I said, yes, you're just the right I was a you know? baby. I was a baby and I played the room five. Yes, the attic. Upstairs, mm -hmm. the attic. And I had a great time. And then I think a year later, I played room one. Yeah. One year later. Already. Yeah. Oh. It's crazy. And then now, Look at us now. She has main stage for herself and for her team and the homegrown is going on tonight. Listen, Miguel believes in me from day one. Of course. And this is why you need people like this, okay? So when you come to Barcelona, leave him alone. He doesn't have time for you. No. He's busy. He's busy for you. With me. Yeah. <laughs> Someone tried to mug his girlfriend yeah. and he tried to come to the rescue to his missus but because there was chaos people jumped and got involved and jumped on his bloody foot yeah. and now we're here what's your name tim tim this is my party i know oh really it's jotty oh, i'm the girl from the boiler room oh word word Nice to meet you. Nice, nice to, meet. to meet you. I wish I didn't meet you in, in these different circumstances. circumstances. Yeah, exactly. for yeah. real. Um, hold on. As per usual, I'm back with punters who have broken their legs during my set. Oh my god. No, but it's bad because he's a football player. He's a football player, and he broke his leg during my set. Yo, is this my life? Is this really my life? Like, uh, my party is so lit. All my DJs are so lit. There's no one in the green room. And we've got about, we've got about 30 people with wristbands and no one's in the green room because everyone's on the dance floor. That's how good it is. Am I drunk? Yes. Child gave me about eight whiskey shots. A new back 
so that duo is born. She stole the song. She. Spanish people, hey, the, stop booking me. She's here. She's here. You have to grow your own talent. She's here. She's here. You can call me on FaceTime. I'll be on the screen. But she's here. She's fucking here. Everyone's going home. Oh, shit. Uh, hey. We're going home. Bye. No, come on. Bye. Yo, no, come on. Hey. Oh. Imagine it's like seven. The club night was supposed to end at six, and we went on till seven because Dre and I ended up going back to back because of the people's request. And I came. They came back to the hotel. And I was like, sorry, I can't actually sleep in my room because it's 29 degrees. It's non-humane conditions. This man just told me with their whole chest, you're going to have to wait till 10 a.m. We've got no rooms for you. So you're just going to have to make it work. Or you can just sit in the lobby till 9.30. What? What? No, because... It's still, it's still 27 and a half degrees in this room. I can't do this. I even tried to book a solo house room, like right now, but I can't check in right now. It's a mess. Have I just woken up at 1.30 p.m.? Yes, I have. Don't care. Sorry, but I think I literally came home at like 7.30 in the morning because we went on till seven in the morning, an hour after the club was supposed to close. Flipping out. I'm gonna shower and go to Flax and Kill and take you with me. Yeah. That's what I'm going to do. Okay, right, yeah. In today's episode of Crazy Things Are Happening, I'll do a small recap. A couple of things. So, this guy I know, Will, he's a promoter of a group in Bristol. He came out last night. He just WhatsApped me this morning, but obviously I was sleeping, saying, oh, are you stranded at, uh, at the airport as well? And I was like, at 1.30, no, I just woke up. Apparently, because of cyber attacks, um, there's a massive, like, technical issue at Heathrow, and people come can't fly in or out so now because of that people who are stuck here are stuck here for another two days basically till monday but all expenses paid at least with ba i don't know about easyjet and budget airlines other budget airlines um then another crazy i'm just gonna i'm just gonna very um casually slip in here that after my set i had ecky last night what the fuck we're not gonna talk about that it was great um and also i came back to the hotel and i went straight to the front desk and i said i need a new room like i'm not gonna go back to the room now i sleep in 28 degrees and they just like refused they said they had no rooms bro when i tell you i fucking hate this hotel i fucking hate this hotel so i've packed everything now i'm gonna go to front desk i think i even last night tried to look on the soho house app if there was rooms at soho house barcelona i might do that now i might actually do that now hold on no they're fully booked i don't really know i might just ask people what really what other really nice hotel there is i just want to treat myself i just want to treat myself before i go back to london to a, an unpacked house full of boxes bless kenny our bed came in yesterday and he built the whole bed by himself and he's cleared out like all the boxes that are that were there so it's only mine left now oh yeah another funny thing you may have seen me video someone's phone screen in the club last night so those were bobby kang's friend aka bobby kung you should check him out he's one of my favorite producers i'm coming out of london at the moment and he's been on my radio show and he did a hundred percent bobby kung original mix listen to that but his they, they like kind of left a bit abruptly but i think it, pretty sure it was after my set though and i was like no why and he said our mates are stuck in a lift and i thought what what lift basically if you've never been in or stayed in a traditional spanish or i should say barcelona apartment one you're missing out you should definitely if you have the opportunity to visit here and you have the funds to do so well i mean if you're visiting you're going to stay somewhere anyway and i think hotels would even be more expensive try staying in an actual barcelona flat however the story i'm about to tell you is obviously going to put you off from that but this is one in a million but it isn't the first time i've heard this happening these old apartments have really old lifts they're like these like little metal tiny cages that you close by yourself and then they go up like it's fucking jokes. Their mates got stuck in one of those last night and they had to call the fire brigade. How jokes is that?
I'm gonna try to get a different room now. Pray for me. I don't know. They were pretty unhelpful and rude last night, so. <laughs> okay, new room, one floor below with an extra window. Why do I immediately like this one better? No, this is actually just a way better room. Um, yeah, don't mind. Oh, cute. Uh, okay, that's so cute. But that's cute. That's not so cute. <laughs> also, a very important thing to know is obviously I'm sleeping behind Rasmataz, like so it's close to the club. And Rasmataz is in a, in a kind of a industrial part of the city, or not industrial actually, but it's just a further out, which makes sense because if you're gonna have a, a club that holds about five. 5,000 people, you can't have that bang in the middle of a very old and picturesque city. Oh, I'm happy with this room. What's the temperature saying? It is warm, but it's warm in the hotel. hotel. 19 degrees. Right, let me see if Flax and Kale is open and then I get to take you with me. Ah, I'm happy. This just fixed everything. I'm so happy. Okay, fit for today. I'll actually show you with the jacket off. Hold on. So I'm wearing my dungarees that I wore last night with a little crop top. Also, y'all, I'm wearing my Wooker period pants after so many people online saying I should try them. So they are literally just underwear with a pad in it but you can just wash them and reuse them and they not only absorb the blood because they come in light medium and heavy flow days and in different cuts i have a thong i have a brief i have a high-waisted whatever whatever but they're also odor absorbing and i'm loving them i haven't tried them on a heavy day though so we'll see how that goes shocks and then this denim jacket from Edwin that I am obsessed with. Guys, it's almost three o'clock and Flax and Kill closed at five as I learned the hard way yesterday. And it's only a 30 minute walk, but this type of stuff definitely doesn't help. And yeah, this jacket over it. Ugh, I just love the cut of this jacket. It actually comes as a, a set. It comes with a pair of jeans as well. However, they were sold out. Hmm. I feel like a butthole. <laughs> I don't have anyone to take a picture of me in front of Arc de Triomphe, so this will do. <laughs> so we're back in the center to go back to Flax and Kill, which I showed you yesterday. However, I'm gonna try to do it this way. I hope you can see me when I do this. So the area that I'm walking through now, see that? So this is called like, well, there's a few areas next to each other. There's Elborn and then there's Raval and it's like the place to be. It's where all the beautiful restaurants and boutiques and little like artisan shops are. And in a way it's kind of, I'd say like the Soho of Barcelona for many different reasons, not just how it looks and the location and everything it has to offer, but also, you know, Soho back in the day was essentially the ghetto. Like people, they used to just, it was just a shithole before it became one of the most expensive locations in London because it's literally so central as possible. You know, it's where all the prostitutes were, it's where all the drug stuff was. It's just where people kind of went if they couldn't be anywhere else in the city. And the reason why I say there's something quite similar about this area is because same thing ago, 10 years ago, nobody wanted to live here. Nobody wanted to be here you wouldn't want to be found dead here it's not exactly the street where i'm walking but deeper in and now it's obviously the place to be but also there's a documentary out currently that you can watch about all the trap houses here so they have a huge drug problem and specifically drug apartment problem and like brothels to so all these beautiful apartments that you see like half of them are trap houses and brothels and there's like an alliance of the neighbors and they do like huge protests and they're literally fighting for it all day every day to you for them to get their neighborhood back and get their apartments back because people literally like they come home one day from a holiday and they're locked out of their apartments and it'll be a trap house it's nuts you should watch it Oh, I'm on a very spicy, 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 spic
every one of these signs, you know you're blowing me away. Okay, Spanish people will know this is the holy grail of sparkling water. It comes in only in these glass bottles and you can get it at every off license if you've never had it. Next time you come to Spain, I don't know if you can get it anywhere else in Spain, but it's always in Barcelona, Vichy Catalan. You have to. It's just, I feel like it's made by gods. It's insane. Okay, walking on this massive, another massive main road. I feel like I say that about a lot of roads. Or did I say that on a FaceTime to Kenny and not on this vlog? I'm not sure. Anyways, walking on this massive main road after leaving Flax and Kale, my hangover has definitely kicked in. I am now extremely cold and I just want to sleep. This, by the way, Rosa Negra, highly recommend. Mexican place definitely recommend. I always forget this is like my 10th time here So I'm not really showing you much of the city because I feel like I know it all and I've seen it all But it just doesn't get bored. You see the mountain At the end, it's like one end of the city is the coast and has like the well the beach which is flat And then on the other end of all those roads you look out on the mountains, which is great Anyways, I'm now on my way to um Soul House, Barcelona, to meet with my old mentor, Gio. I don't even know if you guys can hear this, but Gio is a phenomenal woman who, from the moment she entered my life, I think I'd meet with her like twice a year when I would come to Barcelona, but lots of phone calls, lots of emails, lots of messages, and she really guided me. It wasn't like an intentional mentorship thing, but she really guided me through my earlier stages of getting my foot in the door in the music industry, and I think one of the most important lessons she taught me which is the very un-Spanish way of thinking anytime I'd achieved something so when I got my radio show on Rinse when I got my job at Mixcloud she would immediately say that's so great congratulations when are you leaving oh great that you're on Rinse when are you leaving oh great that you got this job at Mixcloud when are you leaving and I always was like I haven't started yet she's like yeah but you know this is an end all be all this is just a step in the right direction and now you need to think about what's next and that's a great thing she's installed in me not to, not in a way of you know don't live in the moment and enjoy it and live it and experience it and appreciate it but more as in like live it enjoy it be proud all of those things and then where are we heading and i think that's great anyways i'll show you you'll see her in a second she's amazing oh my god this flat here i'm so sorry henry's gonna be fuming but i've picked up drugs here before many many years ago doing sonar <gasps> i told you about these trap houses other end of the center you can't see but on the other end of the road is the harbor it's really nice there it's got all the boats and along this road when you keep walking you end up on a square and that's where the barcelona so house is i do recommend for people who have memberships to visit this one it's super nice it's super quiet it's super calm but it's just a good place to have like a quiet nice little coffee i dj'd there once on the rooftop and apparently that was very unlike them or that venue to have something like like that on it was when the hooligan aka julio a friend from new york and i is when we were co-headlining room one at razzmatazz we did a little pre-party on the rooftop of the soho house i stayed there as well jesus christ i keep forgetting the rooms are beautiful and i don't know if you can see behind me that weird see that little weird little shape there that's the w which is directly on the beach and it's kind of like a landmark basically in barcelona and you see it on the plane and you land which also means that the beach is in that, that direction
introduction. Then another thing, I'm trying to make this as educational as possible. Okay, if you're not aware, I'll show you. When you come to Barcelona, you're gonna see these flags a lot. So that is the Catalonian flag. And Barcelona is in Catalonia. They speak Catalan, Spanish. You should do a little Google because I'm not gonna be a history teacher and I'll probably say things wrong. But long story short, they try not to be their own sovereign state to make it as clear as possible. They don't consider themselves Spain as we know it. And it is a very sensitive subject and not something to just bring up in light conversations, but really interesting nonetheless. However, this does every now and then result into like massive protests in the street with a lot of like police violence. Oh, another thing, if you've never been to Barcelona before and you want to come here on like nights out and shit, the police here, the Guardia Civil, are not to fuck around with. They will fuck you up. Like they will beat the living shit out of you. No matter who you are or where you're from, they don't care. So let this be a fair warning. Don't say I didn't tell you. Okay, history lesson done. Right cheek, left cheek, right cheek, drop below this one. Left cheek, right cheek, drop below this one. Left cheek, right cheek, drop below this one. Left cheek, right cheek, left cheek, right cheek, left cheek, right cheek, drop below this one. Left cheek, right cheek, drop below this one. Left cheek, right cheek, drop below this one. Left cheek, right cheek, left cheek, right cheek, left cheek, right cheek, drop below this one. Left cheek, right cheek, drop below this one. Left cheek, right cheek, drop below this one. Here she is, the legend, Geo. We have to do a selfie together. We always every time we do it. She is giving instructions on how to use the so, photo booth. Yeah. Because this is done for the Soho House. Guys. Yes. And the Soho House guys, at least they are 180 in centimeters. centimeters. Yeah. I don't know how much in inches. It. So when you look at the camera, normally you look like a tiny little Oh, so you I just see the like top of our head. I am big and tall. I'm a model. Yeah. <laughs> You're in the vlog, obviously. Shaka, are you showing? Jael is showing us these drunk antics. Not last night, the night before. Wait, wait, this our Oh, oh, my God. Okay, this was this was our level. This was our level. Look. With the fucking security guys and shit bonding, bro. Oh my god. Glock the dick. Glock eats. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay. Either you get it or you don't. The girls that get it, get it. And those who don't, don't. Kyle. <laughs> we got a new name. Kyle. Kyle, if everybody. you're nasty. <laughs> That's where you got the gold two pin. That's where you Jael. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Jael. Yeah. Yeah. Jael. <laughs> we are we are que we're queuing we're queuing for a restaurant like a club. It's like we're at Bergheim <laughs> and we're trying to get in. But the, Jael and his missus and their family have a booking a reservation and we're still queuing outside. I feel like this is a personal attack on me. <laughs> if I'm just gonna be really honest. <laughs> And so we're waiting. Show them your ugly nails. Awful. Exactly the bad words. We made it in. We made it in. Oh my god. No. Oh. Oh. Wait a minute. They've been together the whole evening, they didn't realize. No food, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Very yeah. Good, yeah. Do you want some more bread? No. No, no more bread. I'm alright. Guys, enjoy. He keeps cracking jokes and she's so not impressed. Because it's not a cheese from there. 
Crazy. We all just ordered the house drink, which is called champagne. Everyone cheers and had a sip. <laughs> Shut no, oh, shit. What's wrong with you? Behave. This man is still in the club. He's still. <laughs> I'm so special, so special, so special. <laughs> I'm so special. <laughs> hey, puppy, puppy, puppy. Puppy, 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 bang <laughs> Hey, puppy, 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 chula. <laughs> no, you're so annoying. <laughs> I got a 29 minute walk left and 9% phone battery. Let's see how well I know Barcelona. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, so you've seen Arc de Triomphe twice already in the vlog. Once earlier today and once yesterday, but you've seen it from the other end. However, I'm now on the front side of it. And the reason why I have like this weird emotional connection to Arc de Triomphe is because my best friend Julian, when he lived in Barcelona and I used to stay with him, out of the two apartments of his that I've been to, one of them was literally so the Arc de Triomphe is there. His apartment was the second block to the right. And the neighborhood is called Tatuan, which is also special because, you know, I'm from a Moroccan area in Amsterdam. So if you know, you know. <laughs> so yeah, every time I see Arc de Triomphe, it just reminds me of just like our 20s when we were all really carefree. Everyone was living in different countries and really and truly, we hadn't dealt with traumas like we have at this point in our lives. Yeah, it just reminds me of my first ever visit to Barcelona. It reminds me of my first ever time to Sonar and thinking that this is my 10th time back in this city. This year and I'm actually playing. The world-renowned Sonar is crazy. This is midnight, that's it. Barcelona, just give me my residency already because you know you love me. You know how I was talking about those little rickety Spanish lifts? I'm trying to show you through this like weird gate. You see that? That's the lift. That little tunnel situation there. It's petrifying. It's not really anytime fitness when it's not open. Is it anytime fitness? It's fucking closed. It's fucking closed. It's, fu it's fucking closed, bro. What? I don't know what's going on here, but it's just bare young people. Posted on the street drinking. Oh lord, okay, hold on. I want to walk through a, a group of them. Give it a second. I know what's going on. Clearly, I'm missing out. Not invited to the party. Can you see me? My battery. I put all my um, brightness all the way down. I think I'm about 10 minutes away. I recognize the road. I've been walking here since yesterday, so I'm definitely on the right way. Guys, and I went to the supermercado. The only thing is, which I haven't told you, so it's basically midnight. The question is now, and it doesn't depend on me and my energy and my mood. It depends on my friend Fear and her old ass to so response to my question of where you at. Her answer is gonna decide whether the vlog kinda ends here or me being back in the room or me not being back in the room. Yo, what's going on? <laughs> what is this place? Orales? The fuck? Bro, what's going on? Not me forgetting that my hotel is located next door to the biggest club of the country. And so therefore, it just being full of young people absolutely fucked off their faces. And the hotel being surrounded by not one, but two bars slash clubs. Massive ones. This is a little bit nuts. Even the security of the club is like circling around the street. It's chaotic as hell. You already know, it's purple lights on my face. It's trouble. It's trouble. Okay. There's a lot going on. Oh, but my hotel's here. Okay, I'm back on the hotel and I messaged her and she's at this record store that I played at a couple of years ago, but they're closing in 30 minutes. So I guess that means I'm having a good night in, which is probably the, for the best. However, I wanted to take a moment to tell you about Gio. Gio, who you briefly saw earlier, is 
a very incredible lady and i wish i could have recorded the conversation that we were having and her catching me up on everything that she's working on at the moment so when i met her she was the director of communications at sonar and she had been for about 10 years she left sonar last year after a long reign of ruling everything that people loved about sonar and she's really mama sonar and you know when i got introduced to her it was over email and i just happened to hit her up when i was going to Barcelona and I was told she's very involved and a passionate and an advocate for women in the music industry and that's why we should meet because I, when I first got my foot in the door in the music industry I had always been passionate about that as well and from the moment we met she just sometimes you meet people in life and they are just enchanting and they are I believe that people can be either energy suckers or energy givers energy charges that their battery there's battery drainers and battery chargers and Geo is a battery charger and if you click with her then you know you're attached to her for life and she's so inspirational she's so inspiring and she's really been i don't know if she's aware of it or not you know i think she sees we we, we you know we consider each other friends but to me she's really been a mentor she's really been a mentor and i think what's really important for people watching this now you need mentors throughout your life like as as long as you're still aspiring to achieve things you need a mentor and a mentor isn't if you're a dj that your mentor is also a dj it needs to be someone who understands the skill sets and the processes that could be applied to also your career but doesn't necessarily have to be in the same field and i think that's also why currently i'm doing really well as far as i'm concerned is because I always follow the advice of entrepreneurs and more like the business side of people things a lot of artists and when i say artists i mean like in the world of a visual art and just lots of different things and geo has inspired me loads and just catching up with her today you know she's left sonar and she's in the middle of launching her own business at 56 my may i add which will be like a one-stop shop with everything as an agency consultancy but an agency for speakers she is a massive speaker as well herself so she does talks almost every week she flies out all around europe to do these talks she's a huge advocate of women in tech so she that whole program that i filmed at so house that's all programmed by her she involves tech and music she's now involved with a brand new app that is all about using sound and soundscapes and music to heal period cramps the app can be found here and she's also now in the process of starting up an all uh, waste free and environment friendly water delivery brands in ibiza but she's also working on a tv program it's nuts it's actually nuts it's, it's absolutely nuts. And Gio is also one of those people who was still out. She's still out at about like 6 a.m. in the rave at Printworks. She will be there. Like she lives and breathes this shit, bro. She lives and breathes this shit. And she's got such an incredible eye for up and coming talent. And she's one of those people like either you know of her or you don't. But if you know of her, then you will also know that the world's biggest artists and DJs and agents and managers are connected to her. She's, she knows them all. She's worked with them all. And she has enchanted them all. And if I hit Barcelona, I have to see her. So I haven't seen her since before COVID. And outside of just the music industry side of things she's just an incredible woman and she's so she's a feminist through and through and like i mean she's a white woman she's italian originally but she's so like she's such an ally and it's so funny when you hear her speak about just white people or like white men specifically you always it's i always register when she does it and i'm like this is so funny because you're white and i love the fact that you think this way and she's just you know the same way i view like um maya angelou or so many different women like Octavia E. Butler and stuff that have left an, a mark on me but who I don't know personally. Gio is one of those women in my life but I know her in real life and she's kind of like a mother figure but also like a sister but also just like a bestie. I don't really feel an age difference when we're together or when we speak. It's only when I have these moments where she kind of gives me a perspective on life or a stage in life that I haven't achieved yet. That's when I look up to her in age and wisdom but other than that it's not like I don't look up to her but I just don't feel an age difference and yeah i think everyone should have a geo in their life and i think in a weird spiritual way she's contributed a lot to my success so yeah i'm gonna get in, into bed and just eat some snacks and see if there's anything on the telly i guess nice early night in all right change of plans i'm going to the bar
Bruh, I've been waiting for my cab for 10 minutes and there's been about seven or eight cabs that pulled up right in front of me that were empty and I could have just gotten into but I just feel weird about cancelling my Uber. I don't know why. I actually don't know why. I don't know why. And so I won't get there until 1.38 and the place closes at 2.38. What was that? Ooh. I thought it was a ghost, you know? I'll give you this one. You have to come. All right. I'm coming behind the bar. <laughs> Be good. So tequila, maraschino, mango juice, lemon juice. I love it. And garam masala. <laughs> it can duck. Excuse me. Who told you to be this cute? In the bar. This is Cleo, aka Cleo Soul. <laughs> Lovebirds, they make me sick. No, we try to figure out if You're we found from hash or a dog better. treat. She's from Amsterdam too. She's from Amsterdam. Yeah, you usually if you burn it, you could tell. Nah, it's Russian. Now everyone's left. I can tell you about this place. This is Curtis. It's an audio file cafe. Yeah, I know all you lot, all you vinyl DJs, you will love it here. And there, it's a bar. They do amazing drinks. The owner, Guille, I met him in 2019 when I was here to do a talk for a music forum. Um, and I ended up playing a set here and it was packed out and it's so fun. It's a local it's a community. I love this girl. I love this girl. <laughs> <laughs> and all the people that work here are super nice and it's just a proper proper music lovers home and you can listen to your records here and they do coffee during the day and they do like hip-hop nights tomorrow they have record sellers coming in here selling loads of records and they have like big og names pull up here and do sets you want um, and sometimes in the summer they have parties that spill out in the street. It's amazing. And Guy is an OG. It's a real OG. Right, it's 3.40, back in the hotel. Quick debrief of who you just saw and why you saw them, why I made an effort of leaving the house at the time that I did to see these people. I'm gonna try to keep it as short as possible, but I thought if I told you about Gio, it's only right I tell you about V and Guy as well. So the lovely lady with the puppy is hands down, in my opinion, one of the best DJs in all of Spain. So she goes by Ver, V, Virginie, V-I-R, and I always mention her in all my interviews. She is, a you know, she, She's repping for the over over 30s. Let me just put it like that. <laughs> and she's sick. She's an amazing final collector. And she can be anywhere from... She's like roots from house to hip hop. So she could, like for me, I could compare her to the likes of like a spin-up. She could hold down a set opening for Honey Dijon. But let's say if Pete Rock wanted someone to open for him i don't see why ver couldn't do it and she really doesn't belong in this city and she doesn't get the recognition and she doesn't get the bookings and that she deserves and i'm gonna make my personal mission to get her out in out of the barcelona scene and at least in contact with some agents in the uk because she's wicked i don't even know how we met but we've known each other for years and it's only right that if i'm in her city that's i make an effort to go and see her now Guille is the owner of Curtis, the audio, the audiophile cafe I went to. And how I know him is in 2019, I was in Barcelona to do moderate a talk for this music forum that was happening. And somehow, some way, through the word of mouth, a mutual friend of ours had asked me to DJ in the calf. And I was like, that's like a headsy place, like that's a vinyl place. I don't even play records, like I play off my USB and he was like, no, 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 Guy is super cool. 
just come and I played and it was packed out and we had a great night and I really got to know Gia that night. He is an OG, like that man used to tour manage Beastie Boys, is at work and he is a record collector at heart and he's just in it for the love of the scene. And what I like is, I feel like in this world, you have two type of OGs in the scene. It's the ones that are bitter and like don't like anything new or different or that isn't according to their like norms or standards. And then you have the people who are excited by everything new and they see the love, they see it sparks an energy in him. He's the latter and he just runs a place that you could see is just spilling over with love. And so I recommend anyone that comes to Barcelona to go to Curtis if it's for a coffee or to buy records or to go in the evening to drink or to check out the showcases. Like even now they were talking about, was it Jero the Damager that they were talking about? Like they, people like that just want to come by and play and not for money, just for vibes. So yeah, I thought those are two people you need to be aware of if you speak about this city. Like I've, I've introduced you to three OGs of Barcelona today. Gio, Guille, and Ver, and they're all amazing. And I'm gonna go to bed so I can at least get seven hours of sleep and feel somewhat okay, because I definitely had more than eight drinks again today. Okay, morning, well, afternoon. The weather is glorious today. The sun is beaming and my throat is so sore from Friday night. Like, so sore. I mean, I, I have lateral flows with me everywhere I go. Did a test this morning, but of course it's negative. Also, I literally had COVID six weeks ago or something. Eight weeks ago. Eight weeks ago. And even if I did have anything now, it wouldn't show up today it would definitely take a couple more days to develop but it, just, it goes to show that i'm still very paranoid but yeah i have like two hours two and a half hours until i get picked up to go to the airport so i'm treating myself i'm really like right i'm just tired as fuck so i'm treating myself to a nice solo lunch a little stroll and um, i can't check into my flight once again because of welling website everything i upload all documents passenger locator form la 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 they keep saying that it can't be verified and at this point i'm just like go suck your mom do you know what i mean i'll get there to the airport early anyways so i'll just do it in person all right ciao for now like my construction but it's obviously this this that's the good part <laughs> and i had to sit right in the sun so just ignore that just ignore all of that we need some more nails in here it's gonna break loose like hell in here when i see a blue blue can shows in here bare man not enough girls in here too many men too many many men when i ain't man block them stairs in here no sharp shoes just stand hairs in here it's air in here it's only 55 pounds for a bottle but i don't want to buy one i'm looking for a girl but i can't find one I should have done a, like a, wh a whippet cam during this particular trip. I've never noticed <clears throat> so many whippets. Is that what those weird dogs are called? Sorry, no offense. Those dogs are ugly, bro. What the fuck? Anyways, I've seen so many of them on this trip. Also, I'm going to be back here in the summertime for Sonar Festival. And then I'll do another vlog. But then you'll get to see like Barcelona in heaving summertime. And I'll definitely take you to the beach then as well. And I'm thinking to take Kenny here before that time actually. Because he's never been. And then if I bring him, I'm going to show him all the actual like sites. So if you really want to see like a touristy Barcelona vlog of where to go and places to see and like things you can take pictures of and all that shit and then that one will be it and then the sonar will be a little bit of that and a lot of me just being absolutely trashed passed out vomiting <laughs> listening to good music okay we need some more girls in here 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 there's too many men 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 i come through like what is it on skip who's my man what is he on i ain't coming to try murk anybody but forget the hype if it's on then it's on i'll done a man's dance then i'm gone then i'm gone skin daddy bars when i'm on when i'm on i just wanna be the little vibe with the gal them hotel pop off the phone then it's on with a little bit of high grade on very on champagne hennessy not very long we need some more girls in here
push and tells and Chanel's in here So fast me the beat and let me get heavy on Buffing galley rude boy, send it on There's too many man, too many mini man I'll slew any man, slew any Funnily enough, I've not shown you any skaters during my trip here But one thing that's huge in the city of Barcelona is the skate scene And they actually get like loads of like skate kids from Brazil for example and get flown out here by certain sponsors and brands To move out here for like one, two, three years They do loads of competitions And I feel like that's really overlooked so there you go people love talking about how this city doesn't have like a real like music scene or fashion scene or stuff like that but then something that they do have is a skate scene we need some more girls in here 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 there's too many men too many women 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 we need some more girls in here 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 Okay, okay, but show the people, show the people what's what because clearly we're in 2022 but Kael is in I have a bigger one, I put this one in front of the bigger one, this one What's the brand? We need to get Bugaboo, sponsorship But it's unreleased uh, It's yeah. never gonna release anymore Unreleased. They stopped making it. <laughs> what the fuck? You are so annoying. <laughs> Alright, Bugaboo sponsored the man. Gee, paid advertisement. I can't check in online nor at the self check in here because it says it can't. It doesn't support my passport nationality. That's literally what it says. It doesn't support your passport nationality, which is funny because Jael, his girlfriend, and I all have Dutch passports. But they've gone through their flight is 30 minutes earlier before mine. And I'm in the check in queue. Do you want to see how long it is? Hold on. 